की बात करेंगे एनस्पीशिया मशीन के बारे में इसके कंपोनेंट्स, इसके वर्ड्स, इसके फीचर्स इसके सेफ्टी फीचर्स क्या होते हैं वॉट इज एनस्पीशिया एनस्पीशिया जो है ट्राइड टू वे ग्रेट वर्ड से जिसके नीचे विदाउट सेंसेशन अगर हम यहाँ सिंपल लैंग्वेज बात करें तो हमें एक ऐसी लेवी जो है अचीव करनी होती है जहाँ पर हम पेशेंट्स को अनकॉन्शियस लेवल स्टेट में ले जाएँ बाई दी ड्रग्स एनस्पीशिया हम अचीव कैसे कर सकते हैं So in this particular video we will talk about mast superglottic airways laryngoscope and endotracheal tubes starting from the ceiling face mask ceiling face mask has a soft seal that fits over the patient's nose and mouth this seal is effective for giving 100% oxygen by non invasive positive pressure ventilation now superglottic airways are divided into many categories here we will only discuss those that are quite common first we have oropharyngeal airway commonly known as cuticle Gordon maintains airway potency by keeping the mouth open and preventing the tongue from falling backward. Gordon may not be tolerated by a semi-conscious patient as they can induce discomfort and vomiting. Then we have nasopharyngeal airway, an alternative to Gordon suitable for patient with difficult mouth opening and tolerated in semi-conscious patient. Then we have laryngeal mask airway, commonly known as LMS. The advantages of LMS include anesthetic management, induction, maintenance, and emergence. The placement of LMA can be accomplished without muscle relaxant and laryngoscopy, and insertion is quite easier than PT. We generally have different types of LMS, and while they all share similar characters, there are minor design differences. Classic LMA, we have a cuff at its tip, then here we tube, connector, and valve for inflating cuff. Unlike the LMA classic, in LMA Prozil, there is a gastric drain tube that opens at the tip. This is designed to channel fluid away. It also reduces the chances of inflation of the stomach during prolonged ventilation. Then, in IGEN, we have a non inflatable cup, integrated gastric drain tube, integrated bite block, simple insertion without inserting the hand into the patient's mouth, and no cuff to inflate. The endotracheal tube is another type of artificial airway that is placed between the vocal cord through the trachea. It serves to provide oxygen and inhaled gases to the lungs and protects the lungs from contamination, such as gastric content or blood. When the vocal cords are visible but the endotracheal tube won't pass, bougies come to rescue. It can aid tracheal intubation in difficult situations or after paint attempt. The angle tip can be used to identify the tracheal way. Tips are placed with an endotracheal tube before the intubation and used to hold the tube in a particular shape. Then we have different types of laryngoscope for viewing the larynx. They all are similar with slight differences in their blade. McQuire, McIntosh, McQuart and at last Miller. Assalamualaikum, my name is Mehani. I am a final year student of surgical technology. Today I will tell you about the monitor which is the most important part of MSCG Starting at very basic on the screen, it is ECG or EKG stand for electrocardiogram, which is used to see the electrical activity of the heart. We connect the ECG lead on a patient's chest that shows the sinus rhythm and also shows the arrhythmias of the heart. During a surgery, any stressful procedures or less oxygen consumption can slow down the heart rate. So it can also detect it by ECG and anticipate any sort of problem happening during a surgery. The next monitor we have is oxygen saturation or a pulse oximeter. That means to see the oxygen consumption in a patient's blood. Normal healthy individual has 90 to 100% saturation level. So to see the oxygen level in a patient's blood, we connect a clip-like device called a probe on a patient's finger or ear loop. 
it shows a sound that mainly has a two component one show how frequent the tone is going that give us a heart rate another shows the pitch of tone so any change in saturation level like it start to go down the pitch also start to slow down then we have a capnography also called end tidal carbon dioxide refers the measurement of exhaled carbon dioxide level this is an another excellent marker because carbon dioxide level diagnose the respiratory depression or any airway disorder especially in a sedative patient now we have a blood pressure monitoring anesthesia can cause significant changes in cardiovascular function leading to potential complications such as hypotension or hypertension monitoring bp allow to assess a patient's hemodynamic status we have a two method to measure the bp one is non invasive another is invasive in non invasive method we put the cuff on patient extremity and machine is able to determine the bp while in invasive method it involve in setting the catheter directly into an artery that provide a real time and highly accurate bp reading making it valuable in critical situation however the choice of blood pressure monitoring techniques depend on a patient's clinical condition respiratory rate monitoring is important during a surgery because it ensures a safety and a well-being of the patient during a surgery the patient is often under general anesthesia which can affect a respiratory system so any abnormal changes in respiratory system During a surgery could indicate the various issues such as airway obstruction hypoventilation or respiratory distress prompt detection of these changes allow the any healthcare provider to intervene and take the appropriate measure to optimize a ventilation maintain oxygenation and prevent a respiratory complication the last monitor we have is temperature during a surgical procedure or when a patient is under anesthesia monitoring body temperature is essential for ensuring their safety drastic changes in temperature such as hypothermia or hyperthermia can indicate complications such as infection or adverse reaction to the anesthesia which may require the immediate attention Okay so this is anesthesia machine work station this machine is used to deliver anesthesia to the patient undergoing any surgery first of all we will talk about a gas supply system uh, we here we have cylinders which contains compressed gases under pressure and they are all color coded second we have flow meter it regulates the flow of gases to be delivered to the patient in liter per minute it is also set uh, according to the requirements the second we have an aesthetic supply system which contains vaporizers uh, these convert liquid anesthetics into the vapor form and then these liquid anesthetics will be combined with oxygen uh, and this combination is known as fresh gas breathing circuit delivers fresh gas to the patient and exhaled gases are recirculated after absorption of carbon dioxide uh, pressure manometer in breathing circuit measures the pressure in centimeter h this valve reduces the pressure build up in the breathing circuit to avoid barotrauma to the patient's lungs a uh, reservoir bag inflates and deflates when inspiration and expiration occurs it helps in assessing respiratory rate also allows manual breathing bellows compresses when oxygen is directed into the breathing system co2 absorbent absorbs the carbon dioxide from the exhaled gases it contains soda lime calcium hydroxide some machines may have a scavenging system that contains activated charcoal and that is needed to be discarded after 12 hours this doesn't absorb nitrous oxide uh, that's the uh, downfall of it but it reduces the exposure to the waste and aesthetic gases now we will talk about ventilation monitor first parameter is entire volume which is uh, set specifically in volume control mode Second is the pressure of gas delivered to the patient which is uh, specifically set when a patient is in pressure control mode. The third parameter is the ratio is the breath per minute set by anesthetist. Uh, and the fourth parameter is ratio of inspiration to expiration that is an important factor. The fifth parameter is the positive end re- expiratory pressure. And this one measures the pressure in the circuit after a res- respiration cycle 
the sixth parameter is the maximum pressure of oxygen to be supplied to the patient and that should not exceed more than 35 centimeter h2o the seventh parameter is oxygen saturation here it's zero because the ventilation is on the vent is on and the eighth parameter is the trigger variable it triggers when a patient does an effort to breathe here if a patient will does will do an effort of uh, one liter per minute of breath then the next breath will be transferred to the patient of 600 ml and that's all about uh, anesthesia machine workstation Assalamu alaikum everyone, my name is Farah Khan and I'm a final year student of surgical technology and today I'm going to discuss about some very interesting safety features of anesthesia machine uh, that varies from different machine to machine but we are going to talk about some very basic safety features that are common in every uh, anesthesia machine so without a further ado, let's get into it Okay, so first of all, we're going to talk about the alarming system of anesthesia machine. So the machine starts alarming whenever there is less oxygen supply than required to the machine. For example, some machines have the limit of 4 liters of oxygen and whenever there is less than 4 liters, the machine shuts itself down and ceases all of its functions. For such condition, we always have the emergency cylinders with us in the OT all the time. It also starts alarming and changes its beeping sound whenever there is a fluctuation in the vitals or there is any issue with the uh, oxygen probes or ECG electrodes. Now we are going to see the safety features of flow meters. So as you can see that we have control knobs over here with different identifications to avoid any error. You can see oxygen has large fluted knob while nitrous oxide and air does not. The tube of flow meters are leak proof and its bobbin has to be anti-static all the time. For this we have an anti-static coating on both the ends of the tube. Let's now quickly move on to the safety features of oxygen flush. So we can see that the oxygen flush has a switch which directs high pressure flow and inappropriate activation of this switch can lead to paratrauma. To avoid any accidental activation, these are usually placed in a recessed setting and will deactivate as soon as the finger activating the switch is removed. Now let's talk about my favorite part of an anesthesia machine, the vaporizers. Vaporizers are color coded to avoid wrong installations of the volatile liquids. For example, isofluorine is purple color coded, sevofluorine is yellow, while the halothene is red. It is it has a unidirectional valve to prevent packed flow into the vaporizer during positive pressure ventilation. Vaporizers are equipped with interlock mechanism which prevent from more than one vaporizer being put onto the use at the same time. Now last but not the least, the safety features of scavenging system. We have a container of soda lime in the anesthesia machine that traps all the carbon dioxide exhaled by the patient. 24 liters of carbon dioxide exhaust 1 gram of soda lime. It is usually pink in color and when it changes its color then it indicates that the soda lime is exhausted and now it needs a removal to work properly. Thank you.